people love being stupid and going fast, so why not get some entertainment out of them? Today, we're gonna look at five of the dumbest races people take part in. Let's get into it. First up is perhaps the most well-known, the cheese rolling contest at Cooper's Hill in Gloucestershire, England. The event as we know it today involves rolling a nine pound wheel of double Gloucester cheese down a steep hill with competitors racing after it. The first to cross the finish line at the bottom, ideally catching the cheese, wins the cheese. This event has attracted participants and spectators from all around the globe for centuries. Because this isn't your average race, it's more of a controlled tumble with participants often flipping and rolling their way to the finish line, all for the glory of catching that cheese wheel. Cooper's Hill has a gradient that can only be described as near vertical in places. This isn't just a test of speed, it's a battle with gravity and to stay conscious. The race is notorious for its injuries, ranging from sprained ankles and concussions to broken bones. Emergency services are always on standby, knowing well that what starts as a comical dash often ends in a chaotic scramble to tend the wounded. The cheese roll is a tradition steeped in mystery and history. Some theories suggest it dates back to pagan rituals, for fertility and the coming of spring, while others believe it was a way for locals to claim grazing rights. Each year, the event draws competitors and spectators from around the globe, all eager to partake in or witness this unique blend of speed and stupidity. In rural areas of Thailand, what was once a tool for planting and harvesting rice becomes the star of a race. The genesis of rice tractor drag racing speaks to the ingenuity and spirit of rural Thai communities. Looking to inject some excitement and camaraderie into their agricultural routines, locals began modifying these tractors, equipping them with larger engines and other enhancements aimed at boosting speed rather than crop yield. As these races gained popularity, they evolved from informal contests into well-organized events. However, the transformation of rice tractors into drag racers is not without dangers. Despite these risks, the sense of community and shared excitement around these races makes them a beloved local tradition, showcasing a blend of rural life and motorsport thrill that is uniquely Thai. Rice tractor drag racing stands as a testament to the creativity and adventurous spirit of Thailand's rural communities. It reimagines the agricultural landscape as a playground for mechanical innovation and high-speed competition offering a striking example of how everyday machinery can be transformed into sources of some dangerously dumb entertainment. Moving on to a race that might sound like it's straight out of a whimsical storybook, here comes the giant pumpkin regatta. Yup, you heard it right. This is a race where participants navigate waters in enormous pumpkins that have been hollowed out and transformed into boats. This quirky event turns ordinary pumpkin farming into a competitive sport and engineering challenge, as growers not only aim to cultivate the largest pumpkins possible, but also to transform them into seaworthy vessels. The charm and absurdity of the giant pumpkin regatta is undeniable, but so are the dangers lurking beneath its playful surface. Maneuvering a mass of pumpkin through water is no simple feat. Balance is precarious, and the risk of capsizing is high. Participants often find themselves taking an unexpected dip into the water, leading to situations that can be both humorous and hazardous. The giant pumpkin regatta is more than just a test of nautical skill in a pumpkin shell. It's a celebration of creativity, community, and agricultural prowess. This event showcases human ingenuity's ability to turn even the most ordinary of gourds into a stupidly entertaining race. Unicycle racing, already a testament to balance and skill, has evolved into an even more thrilling spectacle with the advent of electric unicycle racing. This isn't just about maintaining balance anymore, it's about harnessing the power of technology to challenge the very limits of speed and agility on one wheel. The addition of electric power means that races are not only faster but more intense. Competitors need to possess an ironclad focus and an even better sense of balance as they navigate courses at speeds that can reach upwards of 30 miles an hour. With this evolution comes a heightened level of danger, necessitating the use of full body armor, akin to that of motorcycle racers. The electric unicycle race amplifies the risk of high impact crashes, making the protective armor not just a precaution, but a necessity. Injuries in this version of unicycling can be severe, given the increased speeds and potential for collisions with obstacles or other racers. 
This evolution into electric unicycle racing has not only pushed the boundaries of what's possible on one wheel, but also introduced a new level of excitement and competitiveness to the sport. With technology continuing to advance, who knows what the future holds for this electrifying race on one wheel. One thing's for sure, it'll be fast, it'll be risky, and it'll absolutely be stupid. Bathtub racing, an eccentric yet exhilarating sport, began with the quirky idea of racing bathtubs on land. Participants would take actual bathtubs, slap on some wheels, and then using sheer human power or small engines, race these unconventional vehicles against one another. Racers speed through corners in these wheeled contraptions, steering with makeshift handles or even ropes in a display of creativity and engineering. The danger here lies in the high speed potential and the bathtub's inherently unstable design when repurposed as a land vehicle. Crashes and flips are not uncommon, leading racers to wear helmets and sometimes even full protective gear. But racing bathtubs on land wasn't unconventional enough, so the sport took to water, evolving into what we now know as water bathtub racing. Transitioning to water, bathtub racing assumes a more literal interpretation, with bathtubs kept afloat using sealed hulls or additional buoyancy devices. The challenge here is multifaceted, maintaining balance in a vessel not designed for aquatic travel, navigating through potentially choppy waters, and outpacing rivals. The risk of capsizing is ever-present, turning races into an unpredictable and often wet affair. Despite the hazards, water-based bathtub racing captivates, with its blend of nautical challenge and whimsical innovation. Both on land and water, stupid racing breaks the mold of conventional speed, inviting participants and spectators alike into a world where creativity, risk, and the joy of competition come together like a mob of morons tumbling down a hill. Whether they're on the streets or the waves, these racers embrace the unconventional and a bit of the stupid. Hey everyone, I wanted to take this time just to thank you all not for only watching this video, but for coming along on this journey with me to a thousand subscribers. We finally got there guys and I could not have done it without each and every one of you, so thank you all so much. Now this is still a new channel so we're still trying to figure out our niche and this is a one man operation right now so I'm trying to get everything out to you guys as quickly as possible without sacrificing any quality here. So strap in, buckle up, and I'll see you guys on the other side.